Is it winter? Yes. Is it time for new goggles? Oh, yes. Do you want some new Oakleys? Yes. Do you know which ones you want yet? No. By the time you're done watching this video, you will. Come at it. Hey everyone, this is Sunglass Rob from SportRx and Tyler from SportRx. And we're here to talk about the Oakleys of 2019. This is like the definitive guide to the Oakleys of the season. Yes. I think we're missing a couple of the kind of lower end ones, but to us, those almost don't count. So yeah. these are like, if you're looking for some good Oakley goggles and you're not sure exactly which ones are gonna be the right ones for you as far as fit, style, selection, features, Hopefully by the time you're done watching this video, you're gonna you're gonna know enough to know which ones you're gonna want. These are the ones that you really want. Yeah, these are the these are the good ones. So we're gonna start over here with the Flight Deck XM and its cousin, brother, nephew, the Flight Big Deck, the regular Flight Deck. It's a little confusing because the one with the X in it is smaller. So Flight Deck, bigger, it's Flight XM. Deck XM, like extra hmm, medium. Maybe That's it's what smaller. XM stands for extra <laughs> small. <laughs> so let's try some, some on for you. These are our favorites pretty much universally at SportRx. I'm a big, big fan of the Line Miner. We'll get into that next. But this is the Flight Deck. It's the best-selling Oakley goggle. It won a Rexy Award from Sport RX, which is our award show. So this won Best Goggle of 2018. For good reason. Yeah, it's an amazing goggle. And this Great has goggle. a lot of really cool features on it. So it's got this whole kind of rimless design. I think Flight Deck, goggle, like um, like NASA helmet kind of idea yeah. is kind of where, this, where that name came from. Yeah. And it's, it's huge, right? Flight Deck. It's just like this big goggle a lot of peripheral vision, really no frame in the way, so the, the optics are really good on here. And this is a spherical shield. Uh, that means that they wrap both left to right and up and down, which is gonna give you the best optics and also give you a little bit more volume inside the goggle for just a little bit more anti-fogness. Speaking of which, all of these have an amazing anti-fog coating. They all have venting all around the goggle and they all have triple foam and they all have uh, really good um, uh, silicone on the inside of the strap. So uh, really the best of the best as far as features go. So this is the flight deck bigger flight deck xm a little bit smaller we have full reviews on all of these and verses you can check out more detail understanding wanna... everything that he said about the flight deck applies to the flight deck XM. yeah that's just smaller is it's just like about 20 percent smaller it's 15 20 percent smaller <laughs> Um, so I have a bigger head than Tyler. Tyler has a smaller head than me. I'm probably a little bit bigger than average. Tyler is maybe average to slightly smaller than average. Cool. Um, so you can see what on a big head the XM looks like. And I think it still does okay by me. Yeah. And then on a Sorry. smaller head what the flight deck looks like. So. Uh, there you go. These goggles both come with one shield in the box. You can get extra shields and uh, interchange them on your own, but not really like, you know, you can interchange them. It's not the easiest one in the world. It's not the hardest one in the world. We have yeah. a video on how to interchange them. Um, but the idea with the prism lens technology is if you get one of the middle of the road prism lenses like torch, jade, or sapphire, and we have videos on all that. I keep saying we have videos on everything because we do. They work so well, they work probably in about 80, 85% of light conditions out there. So one lens gets you through so many light conditions right now. So that's the flight deck. Next on the list is the line miner. Why don't you grab the XM and, and I'll take the regular. This was my personal favorite. Um, I think aesthetically I love it. I also have a little bit of like sentimental reason why that I hadn't snowboarded in about 15 years and the first run I did about three years ago um, was in a it was in a line miner and it just kind of like reminded me of how much I love the sport and how much I love being out on the mountain. So the uh, I kind of my heart and the line miner kind of work well together. But Makes this sense. is this is Sen the standard line miner, probably a little bit larger goggle. <laughs> and then Tyler's got on the XM. Yeah. So I would say that this style definitely made a splash. It's been out for a couple seasons. Uh, I really liked it. For me, it, it the difference between the the Flight Deck XM and the Flight Deck. Uh, I feel like I can wear both comfortably. XM is a little better. When it comes to the line miner, I really do feel like the XM makes a pretty big difference. I never felt totally comfortable in the standard original line miner. So I'm glad that they came out with this. And uh, you can see that it fits me like a proper gentleman. And then you can see what it looks like on a bigger head and then what these look like on me. Again, they look fine. Rob insists that they look fine on me. They just don't feel quite as hey man, it's me. Your, it's your, you gotta feel good. 
What do I you always think? feel good though, Rob. Yeah. The, the, there's the XM, a little bit small, I think, on me. There's the standard. Tyler thinks they're a little bit big on him. I think they're okay, but you okay. Know, whatever, whatever happens. Uh, a note feel? on these is this goggle is cylindrical, <laughs> so it does not wrap up and down. It only wraps left to right. Traditionally, hip. that meant uh, optics weren't as good. A lot of times, Dippity. back in Dippity. the day, you used cylindrical lenses because they were like stamped out and they weren't as high as quality, but because cylindrical lenses have gotten so popular and Oakley uh, is obsessed with amazing optics, then you're gonna get really good optics even though these have more of that cylindrical old school kind of yeah, look. They're right. made out of, the, out of the newer way that you make spherical lenses out of. I think an original way that they would do their lenses is they would essentially just make a flat lens and then they yeah. bend it yeah. around the, Oakley, the goggle, which Oakley is not the case that. with this, which is good. And the cool thing that I really appreciate about Oakley, obviously you're getting all of Oakley's optics, but you are also getting their proprietary lens material that they call Plutonite. Plutonite. Very impact resistant, extremely durable, and it actually is really what gives the, the goggle any rigidity. Otherwise, because it uses the, the goggle material is their O-matter material, which again, super durable, really flexible. It can take a beating and keep on Beating. Hey, you know what we should talk about? Just side note, what is this little thing? This is a prescription it's insert. It's the only way that I can get along on the mountain. We put your prescription lenses in here. You put, we put your prescription lenses in here. We put a great anti-fog coating and then this guy sits inside the goggle way better than trying to deal with the glasses well. inside the goggle. Contacts work for you, great. If you don't need a prescription, even better. But if you're trying to do glasses inside the goggle, this is a thousand times better. And uh, for sure. The cool thing is now I can see, but we try and make it so seamless that, especially with a mirrored lens, you can't yeah. see that I can see. Pretty well obscured behind the lens. See. So the next goggle is the Canopy. Canopy. It's been out a few seasons. It's um, a big it one. One of the original kind of goggles a few years ago started getting bigger and bigger, and this one's called the Canopy because it's big. Mm -hmm. But it's funny now in, in, in hindsight or forward sight, goggles have gotten even bigger yeah. and even more lens but in its time, that was a revolutionary piece. I guess basically big, to me, spherical. that is a flight deck that's not rimless almost. Yeah. Maybe a good way to explain it. I think that's it. fair. Yeah. There's a little more goggle to it, but you can see it on me, a more kind of average, Does it medium, look too maybe big? small to medium. No. I mean, it feels pretty It feels pretty good to me. And the strap's a bit snug, so obviously it wraps it around my face a little bit more, but I don't feel any gaps, I don't feel Weird in the nose, not pinched or anything, but and then it, you can see it on the face as well. It's still around, this thing still sells. Great goggle, real durable. Yeah. If you're looking for something big, but you're not into that rimless look, awesome goggle. Again, look another good. one. All the goggles so far that we talked about come with one lens. The exception is the Airbrake XL, which Tyler just picked up. That is a interchangeable, uh, well, all of these you can change out, but this one is meant to Designed change to be out. Interchangeable. It comes with- switch lock technology. Yep. Comes with two lenses. Just one's going to be kind of more for brighter days or kind of every day, and then the second one is usually going to be a low light lens for bad weather days, overcast days, snowy days, whiteout kind of days. One thing I want to note on this, uh, it does have the outriggers that, that yeah. actually do come out. They move out from the frame. Uh, the one side, the left side, which is the side where you access that switch lock mechanism, the outrigger pulls out a bit farther from the frame than the other side. And that is intentional, so if you were to get these, do not be alarmed that one side seems to open up more than the other. Gives you access. Because that's normal. It's the that's how it's supposed door. to be. But yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good, easy to interchange. You just flip this little switch lock up, lens pops out, you put the other lens in, and close that switch lock. Lock it up. Lock and it, it it's a big goggle. It's an XL. There used to be an Airbrake years ago that I love and miss, but they don't make it anymore. And now there's the Airbrake XL, and, and it's definitely a larger fitting goggle. So if you're looking for a big goggle, check out the XL. You put it on. I, put it I didn't on. even put it on. He'll put it on, then I'll put it on. And then the last but not least is the Fall line. This was new last season. Yes, I believe so. New and, last season. And uh, is... Uh, a really cool design, another totally rimless design. Uh, it does have a lens that can pop out. Um, what might be a little more popular this season is the Fallline XL, which is the Prism React. We don't really have that here because it's not, it's such a specialty. It's its, it's, its own category. It's its entirely. own work because it's you have to plug it in and charge it, here, and it's amazing. But um, they're put super limited, super hard to get, so it's kind of not part of this category but for us. But we have if videos you're not on lucky that. Enough, to get one, 
This is the same design, doesn't have that technology of, of whatever, but it's the same design. It is a little smaller, it, it fits smaller, a bit smaller. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the fall line on me, and basically the fall line is kind of like a rimless line miner, that's kind of the inspiration. Um, I personally love the line miner a little bit more than I love the fall line, but this is a great goggle and it's been Agreed. pretty popular. And this on me is the Airbrake XL, a bigger a bigger style. I wore this for a You wrote a lot a of season. that last yeah. year, yeah. I did, and I like it, it's a good one. It's cool looking for sure. All right, let's swap out so they can see this on me, and I feel like this fits me a little better. That's the fall line. So that's kind of pretty much all the, that's like your definitive guide to the better Oakleys. I think we missed a couple O frames, but those are kind of low end and been around a lot. Not yeah. super much to talk about on those. So if you're looking for some Oakley goggles, hopefully by the end of this video, you kind of learned which ones you want. If you're still not sure, you can leave a comment down in the comment section. We will get back to you. Or you can email info at sportrx.com and for any questions you might have, if you want to know what lens color might be the best for your conditions, or if you need the insert or what, what coatings or whatever, just feel free to give us a call or email us or get in touch with us. We like to talk to you. If this video was helpful, we'd love a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you really want to subscribe, hit the bell and then you'll get notifications every time we trim Tyler's beard. <laughs>